Hi, welcome to this video on embedding audio clip in PowerPoint 2010. Let us first look at how things are in PowerPoint 2007. This is the interface of PowerPoint 2007. I already have this audio clip inserted in the first slide. Clicking the options tab at the top brings up a few more audio related options. The audio icon can be hidden during the PowerPoint show. There is the checkbox for selecting the looping the show until manually stopped. Let me go to the animation pane where the audio clip is there because I have added certain properties to it. The effect options is the one that will reveal what all I have added. The audio plays from the beginning though it can be made to start from some point in its track. In the timing tab you can see there is a delay of 2 seconds before the audio starts playing. Lastly, the icon of the audio clip can be made to hide here as well. Ok, let's now check out PowerPoint 2010. Here as I click the icon, a player automatically pops up just below it. It's convenient to hear the sound if you want. The playback tab at the top reveals the options for editing the audio. This is much better than PowerPoint 2007. Trim audio is a useful help. Slide this red colored marker and you can see the time of the clip is changing. You can hear the selected portion by clicking the play button. An excellent feature here is the ability to fade in and fade out the audio clip. Let me show you the effect options by going to the audio clip in the animation pane. The options are nearly the same as in PowerPoint 2007. You can choose the number of slides over which the audio will play. Just ensure that the length of the audio clip matches with that of the presentation itself. That's all there is in this video. Thanks for watching.